Thanks for taking me to the movies and I to get ice cream. I really like the scary ones. No problem, Dylan. That's what cousins are for. Do we really have to go home? No, but we don't have time for mini golfing, so I got it. How about I tell you a ghost story? Yes! Right. Not long ago, there was a guy named Tom Walker, and he lived right in this neighborhood. Where'd you put him? Hey, Melinda! What? Melinda! Melinda, come here! What are you screaming about? Where's my silver gravy boat and serving tray? Why? Because I'm not just selling it, that's why. I did this last week, the ones you left, left out for a week, now that's not where I left it. What does it matter? Because I'm not just selling it and getting any more of those stupid rugs you have on the walls. Those are priceless Asian tapestries from the Age of Emperors. Oh, please. One thread of them alone is worth more than your entire silver collection put together. Those Asians with no art of it kicked them in the face. Where was silver? You sold it, didn't you? Get over it. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you? You know, with manners like that, no wonder your family business went under. How dare you criticize my family? Because you're a family in this mess to begin with. Oh. Yeah. What are you doing on my ground? These aren't your grounds. These grounds belong to William Adelson. Mr. Adelson, be damned. I flatter myself. He will win it. He doesn't seem to start looking inward. Come see for yourself how he's doing. <laughs> Just ripe for the burning, this one. <laughs> I'll soon have room for more projects.
What right do you have to all this? <laughs> Why, the right of uh, prior claim. My good man. You see, all this has been in my name since long before the first immigrants ever graced these shores. Huh? Who are you, if I may ask? <laughs> I'm known by so many different names. Many of which I doubt you could even begin to be able to pronounce. But there are a few you may have heard of. The Black Miner. Mode. Mephistopheles. Or Beelzebub. I've been getting that one a lot these days. Old Scratch is another, if I'm not mistaken. At your service. Well, what are you doing in a place like this? Well, presiding over my business, of course. I've been very busy these days. I'm going to expand, make room for new inventory. What exactly do you preside over? Well, giving them a warm welcome, of course. There are so many coming through my doors these days. And, well, to be quite honest, they're getting off a little too lightly. <laughs> A lot of them aren't receiving the fullness of my hospitality. <laughs> and it's ironic. Those with such zealotous ways, if they just stopped breeding all their fear and hate, I'd never see a one of them. I also make sure that my investments aren't tampered with. Investments? Investments? I've already had one person try to steal from me. From you? Who? Rufus Kidd. Rufus the bank robber? I had to take back what was mine. It could be yours, Tom. You could guard it for me. You want me to guard it? I like you, Mr. Walker. I trust you. I don't think you would ever dare cross me. So let me see if I've got this straight. You're willing to give me the contents of this chest right now? No questions asked. Oh, well, of course there would be terms, but they would be just as much for your protection as they would be for mine. I knew it. I think you would find them quite agreeable. Yeah, I don't know. My good man, I am safeguarding this morning with you. And it will be enough to ward off any undesirable influences in your life. Or undesirable people. <laughs> I need to think about this. Take all the time you need. In order for me to make a prudent informed decision about this, what assurance do I have that this is real? You can consider that my binding mark. Wait a second, the devil doesn't talk to people. Well, you know how people say God works in mysterious ways? Well, if he can, why not the devil? Oh, you're back. I'm leaving. Randall Tarquin died and I'm going to the auction at his estate today.
What the hell's wrong with you? Hey, Tom Walker, are you alive? Tom told her about the deal he was offered, and being very greedy, she told him to take it. It was a lot of money. But Tom didn't want to work with the devil. Okay. Go to hell with this. Take a shower. Melinda was upset. Tom walked away from a lot of money. Melinda wasn't ready to make the same mistake. The devil didn't want to work with Melinda as easily as with Tom. Mr. Walker took the bag back to the devil and asked him what happened. And the devil didn't say a word. Tom got frustrated because he was getting nowhere. Until... I was thinking about a proposal, by the way. And? And, well, I admit it does sound rather interesting. Excellent. Now, you know, given, given your reputation, my intellect, although it's not real keen, I admit that something tells me I'm not getting the money as is. Well, it's keener than you think. Nothing in this life is free, Mr. Walker. Okay, well, let's, let's have it. Well, first and foremost, since the money's coming through me, it will be used in a manner which I deem appropriate. Well, that sounds fair. And since I am in the business of recruiting new employees, if you will, well, I think the best use for the money would be to attract as many new souls as possible. The best way which to attract the most souls in the quickest fashion, I have found, is by going into the world's oldest profession. Oh no, absolutely not. I'm many things, but I'm not a vessel of that kind of debauchery. I want to, I want to profit from this, not go to jail. Well, think of what you could do with that, though. You could find pleasurable company. No. My terms are non-negotiable, Mr. Walker. If you do not wish to profit from this, well, someone else surely will. Go right ahead. I want to profit from this, remember? I can't profit from this if I'm behind bars. No, you're not going to look after your investment. I must commend you. Most people would not stick as ardently to their principles as you have. There's only one other way I see this profiting the both of us, Mr. Walker. Mm -hmm. Loan officer. Loan officer? I like the sound of that. You'll open a shop downtown within a month. I'll open it tomorrow. You'll charge 7% interest. No, I'll charge 10%. You'll change bonds. You'll foreclose on mortgages. Yeah. You will drive people to bankruptcy. I'll drive them right to your doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> well then, sounds like we have an accord. When should we start? Tonight. <laughs> it is indeed a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Walker. <laughs> <laughs> Tom opened his shop and quickly attracted clients. That's it. That's it. This is my place. Thanks again, Mike. Yep. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Hey, just gonna get it for beer sometime, yeah. okay? Beer, we're good. See you later. Bought a house and hired a beautiful assistant. He loaned money to people who could never repay. Tom held people who didn't need it. 
The church is going to be here. I have parishioners. I, I just need a day or two. You have a 24 hour. And hurt those who needed his help most. You know, I've noticed a lot of positive changes with you lately. Does it have anything to do with that there? It has everything to do with this, Felicia. Everything. I've become a better person. I've had a revelation, you could say. I've always, trying to be, I've always been living for other people, and I want to live for me. I want to live for Jesus now. Just today, in fact, I was reading Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2. Ill-gotten treasures profit nothing, but virtue saves from death. And that's, I know I'm going to die, but I want to die with Jesus. Jesus calls us to be with him, that's where I want to be. I want to be a better person. Not much of a ghost story if Jesus saved them. But wait, there's more. Man, come on in, come on Tom. in. Tom! Good hey. to see you. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for seeing me on a Sunday like oh, this, no buddy. I really no appreciate it. I always have to help a friend out. Well, thanks. I'm, I'm glad you feel that way because as a friend, I'm hoping you'll be able to grant me a small favor. It's good to allow him to talk. What's going, what's going on? What can I do for you? Well, as you know, I've been a little bit behind in my office lease lately. Mm and I need a little more time. Time, Ned? Yes, for time. I gotta show you this as your friend, and you've no idea how much this paper to give you this. This came in the mail yesterday from the bank. Right. I didn't sign it yet, but I wanted you to see it. Go ahead and read that. Well, this is a foreclosure. Yep. Uh, but listen, uh, the business is really picking up. Tom, I just need a couple of months to catch up. I, I brought my sales figures. Uh, it, business has almost tripled in the last couple of months. Well, maybe, maybe I can talk to the back of a an extension or something. Hey, how'd that get there? Right there, you see it? See what? No, at the, at the end of the counter. What, the sunglasses? The hard hat ledger right there. It just appeared out of nowhere. I don't see anything. I think you're nuts. Right at the end of the, the, the counter. Don't you see that? Ned, you tell me you don't see that right there? Never mind that. Never mind that. This is about me. Focus on me. What do, what do my family do? We can't live out on the street. And little Marie just started second grade. And you know her, Tom. You know her. Ned, charity begins at home. I've got to take care of myself and my, and my, my business. You know? Tom. Come on. I'm trying to help you out. Tom. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do you a favor. I'm, I'm going to call the bank tomorrow. And I'll, I'll get an extension for you. Tom and then I'll, Walker. I'll, 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 I'll. Tom. Tom. Tom, 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 no. Tom Walker. Get out! Tom Walker. I can do Tom, this. Tom, 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 get, Tom, Tom, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tom Walker. I'm going to call the back and get you an extension. Oh I'm your friend. I'm going to help You've you out. You've broken our contract, Tom. No, I'm, no, I'm not. I got to, you're foreclosed, Ned. Give me that. 
I'm signing it right now. You're foreclosed. I gave you six months to do this. I can't believe you're doing this to me, Tom. I guess our friendship ends at your bottom line. I'm sorry, Ned. I, I have no choice. There's too much writing on this. More than you'll know. I eat dinner at your house. I support your business. I, I wear your stupid hat for Christ's sakes. Come on, Ned. Tom Walker. Tom. Tom. Uh, I'm waiting for you, Tom. Uh, no, I, I gotta go. I can't take this. Tom, wait, Tom. Wait, I just need a little more, Tom. I. Uh, Tom, I just need a little more Red, time. What do you want from me? You've already made a fortune off of me. I just what? need a little more time. Get real, Tom. Get that would take me if I took a penny off of you. As you wish. People said the devil took him away. He never came back? He went straight to hell. What about his money? It all turned to ash. Whoa. Not only that, but when his lawyer returned the next day, his house burned down. His house burned down because of the devil? I'm never missing church again. <laughs> he lived right around here? Right there. Whoa.